morning! Alright, so we are up this morning and ready to head out of Banff. But first, we're gonna stop at a couple lakes. So, let's hit the road. I was about to hop in my seat and look at this. Kitty cat, why you gotta shed so much? Good thing I keep a lint roller at the driver's seat because <sighs> we always need it. It's a line up at the dump station. I always find it really funny because the model of RV that we have, the Adventurer, on the west coast of Canada, it's used primarily as like a rental fleet kind of RV. There's a ton of them on the road over here, and most of them, well, I wouldn't say most of them, but probably like half of them are renting them. So we kind of look like renters because we're driving an adventure around and we're young, so people probably don't assume that we own it. They probably assume that we're renting. So we always just look like renters wherever we go. Part of our disguise. Part of our disguise. That's right. Why do we need a disguise? They don't need to know that we're old souls. <laughs> All right, Luke, we're next up. You ready? Team NASCAR, go. Alicia's gonna fill fresh water, I'm gonna dump the tanks. I'm gonna throw out the garbage too. We've got a plan. Let's do it. Break. Go, 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 go. Go Hurry, in. Go. It's our moment. Water, check. Dumping, check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new record. <laughs> okay, to check out. Yep, check out and then in the road. There's a black bear over there. You see him? A black bear walking through the forest. Come back. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, I better go. She's going to confront the black bear. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to do that. That was crazy. I haven't seen a bear in a long time. Me neither. Like a really long time. But yeah, that was so close up. And it's like the third big wildlife we've seen in Banff. We are at the Cascade Pond. They have these day use campsites that all have fire rings and I believe they have these little green huts over on the forest side here that gives you firewood. So if you ever wanted to make a day picnic and then still go back to your hotel but get a bit of an outdoor camping experience, how about that, hey? Get some photos here, check out this spot a bit more, and then off to the next lake. Now we're going to go spend some time at Lake Minnewaka. Get some little bit of editing done there and just sit outside and enjoy nature for a bit before we start heading towards Canmore. And that's about the day plan for today, folks. So we're up at the Lake Minnewaka day use area and holy cow, it's like so much more busy than the Cascade Ponds. Like there's no parking. The whole RV parking lot that we just went through was filled with cars. So unless we can find somewhere else to park, I think we're gonna have to leave Lake Minnewaka. It looks pretty pretty though. All right, back to Cascade Ponds to get some work done and have lunch. found the designated RV parking in downtown Canmore so that's super convenient and now we're just walking down this little path here and we're gonna get a workout in at Anytime Fitness. Awesome train passing through Canmore, Alberta here overlooking Three Sisters Mountain. Awesome workout. Now I think we're gonna be finishing up in Canmore walking a bit and go from there. All right we're in downtown Canmore and right at the beginning of like the downtown area, we saw this path. Policeman Creek Park. Policeman Creek Park. It's really pretty. Yeah, beautiful in Canmore. Really like it here. Mm -hmm. uh oh, Alicia had the smoke alarm going off in there. 
thing goes off so easy, but hey, at least we know it works. This must be the fourth time we've had it go off on us already, probably, or something. And there we are, everybody. We're out of Canmore, we're out of Banff. We're ready to start trekking across the prairies. We're going to Dinosaur National, maybe Provincial Park tomorrow. Be sure to give that video a like if you enjoyed it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've had a perfect time ourselves on this RV trip so far. I'd say this mark's gonna be our seventh night, so seven nights on the road, and it's been everything we've hoped for and more, so. I'm not sure where my family ever found these glasses. They were just in our house once a long time ago when I was a little youngster. Retro. Join us next time when we check out Dinosaur Provincial Park and head all the way to Saskatchewan to check out their great sand hills.